Yeah, here it is. So, um, explaining to you the difference between HMO and the Critical Illness Fund. So, for the Critical Illness Fund, it's called actually Set for Health. So, still, I'm working with um, FWD with regards to this. What I love about the health fund of FWD is that um, it is three, claim, three times claim. So, the minimum sum assured. So, when we say sum assured, this is the amount of the insurance. Is 500,000. So, depending na yan. If you wanted more, like what, uh, parang ang ano niya is, ang, ang ano niya is 500, 1 million, 1.5. So, of course, the more um, coverage you wanted, the expense, the, the, the expensive it becomes. So, uh, let's just say sa 500,000. So, 500,000, three times claim siya sa unrelated major critical illnesses. So, when we say, um, I don't know if it's here, but yeah, uh, maybe I'll I'll send you what does it mean. So for example, um, I'll, I'll send you the list na lang of the critical illnesses as long as hindi siya related. Kasi nakagroup siya into five, um, five ano, uh, five different groups. So for example, if you'll get to uh, to be or to be diagnosed in one of those illnesses, automatically FWD will release a check of 500,000. So, hindi, hindi siya tulad ng HMO na they will be the ones who will be paying the hospitalization. Ito, cash talaga siya na ibibigay. So, the good thing about it is if you need any, like for example, yung mga outside hospital bills such as uh, mga wheelchair or mga gamot sa labas ng hospitals, then you could buy it using the fund. So, it's really 500,000 fund na ibibigay. Three times claim siya, basta unrelated. Ano? So, for example, um, cancer. Sa cancer naman, uh, pwede siya if na-declare ng doctor na um, parang five, parang ano ka na, cancer-free, tapos na-diagnose ka again ng cancer after that, pwede siya mag-claim ka ulit. So, ganun. And then, um, yes, so three times siya. So, total of parang 1.5 million but of course no we don't wish to ano naman to um to claim kasi nga it's better to be healthy but the good thing about it is we'll never know and the good thing is protected ka and then meron din siyang additional coverage na 20% of your sum assured so for example 500,000 siya so 20% niyan is 100,000 sa mga minor critical illnesses so critical illnesses pa, pa din siya but minor i'll send you the list screenshot ko na lang and then, um, yeah, ito, flexible payment terms, depende sa'yo kung which one would be much more, ano sa'yo, parang comfortable ka. 5 years ba? 10 years ba? 20 years? May 20 years option. Um, the good thing about, of course, gusto natin na 5 years para matapos agad. Pero syempre, mas malaki yung monthly niya. And then, kung 10 years, mas malaki naman yung total. Pero, mali, uh, um, on a little, ano na siya, little monthly fee. Mas lalo na yun sa 20 years, ba? But if you get to total, the total niya, mas malaki talaga yung sa 20 years. But, ako, I would really suggest, especially tulad natin that we're young, 20 years. Bakit? Ang mangyayari kasi, if ever that, for example, nasa 2 years ka pa lang, or 3 years of payment, if ever you will be diagnosed uh, with a critical illness, automatically, mawi-wave yung premium mo. So, which means hindi mo na babayaran yung 17 years that is being left. So, imagine that's 20 years of parang safety na, okay, pag if ever ma, um, you will be diagnosed, automatically, same benefits but hindi ka na magbabayan ng mga ano because FWD wants you to focus on your uh, wellness already. Magpakalit ka ka. So, eto, recover without worrying about the premium payments. Eto yun. If you have major illness, will waive future premium payments. Diba? Kasi naman ganito, eh, five years ang pinili mo nga. Pero uh, on the third year, um, if ever, ano, magka-critical illness, so two years lang yung ma-waive compared sa 20 years, diba? So, yun yung parang strategy ko naman. And then, eto, para ka lang talagang nagsisave. Na what if lang. Kasi kung what if, hindi ka naman uh, makaka-claim, hindi healthy ka naman up until 75 years old, 100% refund of paid premium. So, lahat ng binayad mo, ibabalik sa'yo. 
and walang talo kasi pa, paano kung hindi ka aabot ng 75 tapos hindi ka nakakritical illness 100% death benefit naman yung makukuha mo so which means 500,000 like 500,000 like ako um, the total premium that I paid for is siguro nasa mga 200 to 300,000 ata and then dito pa lang sa death benefit na 500,000 win ka na parang wala ka na talagang ilugi so that's the beauty of this but of course, ang HMO, um, the difference between the HMO naman is eto for hospitalization talaga. So meron tayong iba't ibang plan, merong plan F, plan E. So of course, nakadepende yung payment mo sa plan na pipiliin mo. So let's just say pipiliin mo ang plan D, no? Which is the coverage is 80,000. So eto naman talaga, eto yung parang covered niya, medical expenses, um, ito may privileges din siya like dental care and all so ito naman is every year lumalaki yung um, sum assured mo or yung insurance mo so um, sa first year paying period uh, ito siya so for example ito plan D tayo ano and then the good thing about it you'll only pay 5 years but you get to cover 10 years so covered ka up until 10 years ayan so, eto, ang monthly mo would be, for example, if D ang pipiliin natin, quarterly, I mean, wala silang monthly payment. Quarterly is 6,935. So, nasa mga 2,000 plus per quarter. If ever plan D, plan E naman, mas mura. So, syempre, mas malaki kasi yung coverage ng ano. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll send this over to you na lang. If you have any questions, let me know. I'd be happy to support you and see you soon. Bye for now.